Good evening. The headlines. Off the Isles of Scilly, the sunken wreckage of the crashed helicopter has been pinpointed. In Gloucestershire, 21 people have been arrested after a weekend drugs raid near Stroud. The Polish authorities are preparing to lift martial law, but they're bringing in laws which, Lech Wałęsa says, are worse. Now the stories with subtitles. The wreckage of the helicopter which crashed off the Sillies on Saturday may have been found. It's thought its locator beacon is still signalling from 200 feet beneath the water's surface. Divers have been trying to reach the wreck in which up to 20 bodies may still be trapped. It's been suggested instrument failure in bad weather may have been behind the accident. 21 people have been detained by police in Gloucestershire after a major weekend drug swoop. Armed police raided a garage near Stroud after forcing a light plane to land nearby. Court appearances should begin tomorrow. Another man has been arrested in the Irish Republic. The courts are to rule if girls under 16 should get the pill without their parents' consent. A Cambridgeshire mother wants to challenge the DHSS, who've said doctors can supply the under 16s. A young policeman wounded in a terrorist ambush in Londonderry last night is still very ill. He and two other officers were attacked after answering a bogus 999 call in the city centre. A second policeman also received gunshot wounds, but a policewoman escaped with minor injuries. In Poland, it's thought martial law will be lifted this week to be replaced by new regulations. Among other measures, these will make membership of solidarity punishable by three years in prison. Lech Wałęsa has said he would prefer martial law to the bill and hoped it would be rejected. French police have seized arms and explosives from the homes of Armenian militants in Paris and 50 Armenians have been detained after Friday's airport bomb, which killed six people. 550 jobs are to go at Guinness's Park Royal Brewery in London in cutbacks phased over four years. Many are to go through voluntary redundancy and early retirement. 250 jobs were lost there in 1981. And in Newsnight tonight, as MPs vote on whether to sell British Telecom off to the public, we look at proposals for widespread privatisation of other state industries. We'll be talking to Professor Michael Beasley, who thinks government plans to privatise don't go far enough. From Warsaw, Charles Wheeler reports as the government comes under attack over the new measures it will be introducing to replace martial law. And as President Reagan appoints Henry Kissinger to a new commission dealing with, South, with American policy in South America, the former president of El Salvador tells us what he thinks Kissinger can achieve in his troubled part of the world. That's Newsnight at 10.50 tonight. And now, a look at the weather.